Hi, everybody, and welcome to uh, what on a uh, Friday afternoon is a bit of a drying trend as we're now on the back side of our two-day rain event. I'm saying Thursday, Friday, the two-day rain event. Remember, we had a separate cold front that came in on um, Wednesday. So I start with what's happened up in the mountains, and it has been impressive. So 13 inches, new snow at Timberline. These are reports as of late this morning, so maybe the numbers are a little bit higher now. The base, 25 inches. Meadows, 18 new, 18 on the ground. Ski bowl in their front face, as much as eight being reported. That's at 5,000 feet and eight um, on the ground. So that's impressive. And this is a, a big enough snowfall that we probably have seen the end of any bare uh, volcanic, you know, peaks or the higher country of Mount Hood and Mount St. Helens. I would say we're now white as we head into the, the full rainy season. Of course, November 1, we kind of factor as being the rainy slash winter season overall for Portland in terms of our climate. But wow, that's great news. The winter weather advisory and the winter storm warning for the Cascades set to expire at 5 p.m. on this Friday afternoon. But wow, we did really well. Um, okay, on the right side. So I mentioned that right now, what we're seeing is what was steady rain this morning has moved past. And now we're seeing the rain break up and become increasingly scattered. So if you have plans yet today, yet this evening, overnight tonight, even in the Saturday morning, there will be some scattered showers around, but eventually tonight into tomorrow morning, not a lot of rain. However, rainy Saturday afternoon and evening, and look at this map. This is tomorrow afternoon. Here's a warm front coming in where you see my cursor. This is going to bring another shot of widespread steady rain at least for two, maybe three hours um, across the area. And this picks up tomorrow afternoon in the valley and i'll show you timing in a moment so uh part of the weekend saturday afternoon into the evening is going to be really really wet okay so don't forget about that quick shout out to the momentous wealth podcast you can listen on apple Podcasts and on spotify again this is a library of investing topics meant to educate you about investing and specifically about your retirement portfolio um, and I encourage you to check it out. I'm sure you'll find a topic that you want to listen to the Momentous Wealth Podcast. Okay, let's get going. Um, first off, let's look at rainfall. These were rain amounts through late this morning, last 48 hours. 2.63 in Tillamook, 1.42 in Salem, 98 one hundredths in Portland, over an inch in Kelso, an inch up in Olympia, 84 one hundredths in Seattle. And we'll let this play one more time so you can kind of pick out your number. 2.21 up in Astoria. The rain totals from the Weather Service, the graphic animation courtesy of uh, KGW-TV. But remember, we had the forecast going into Thursday, Friday. The two-day combo would produce two inches or more at the coast. Well, that's verified in parts of the coast. And well over an inch, and maybe over an inch and a half in parts of the valley. And that's verifying, too. We talked about the big new snow amounts up on the mountain. Let me just refresh this and get the latest. 31, kind of foggy up at Timberline. Meadows has warmed up. Snow levels at yesterday were 3,500 to 4,000 feet. Today are 4,500 feet to even a little bit higher. And that's led to wet Cascade highways. Here's ODOT's uh, camera on Highway 26 at Government Camp. They're right where my mouse is. There's the turn off the Timberline Road so you can get your bearings right there. And then it's all wet at Santiam and all wet at Willamette. All wet at Cabbage Hill out over the Blues, the Siskiyou Summit. So again, this is off of my Mount Hood Ski Forecast page, which you can find on my app and on my weather site, portlandweather.com. Great resource. Um, Mount Hood probably will hit 40 today. 38 tomorrow, 38 Sunday. Tomorrow's snow level is again around 4,000 to 4,500 feet. So there could be snow sticking in the grassy areas around government camp and certainly some decent accumulations when you get up to 5,000 feet uh, tomorrow. So as always, it's that time of the year, check conditions before you travel up into the high country. So at one o'clock, these were the hourly observations from the National Weather Service. And what I'm looking at are the wind. Portland now up to 57, a little bit warmer than I thought it would be today. South winds gusting to 32. I had southwest winds 10 to 20, 25. It's been even a bit stronger than that. Uh, Trotel's east at 14. So there's, if you've noticed the wind, this is the latest. Newport at one point was gusting to 40 miles per hour this morning down there in Uquinnabay. Those winds have largely um, fizzled out. So, so good news there. 
Okay. Well, one of my headlines is that we're now seeing decreasing showers across the area today into tonight. Not much rain around tomorrow morning, but then rain picks up Saturday with that warm front. Here's the GFS future radar product. We'll start this at five o'clock tomorrow morning, showing showers in the Cascades, but otherwise mainly dry in the valley early in the morning. And then here is 10 o'clock. Let's see here, six, one. Yeah, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, still mainly dry. Now we're getting into one o'clock in the afternoon. And now here's the rain after one o'clock in the afternoon, really picking up through the five o'clock hour. And then the rain still around, but breaking up during the evening. And then here's Sunday morning, showers in the Cascades and across Eastern Oregon, maybe a touch of light moisture along the coast, but mainly dry as we go into Sunday up and down I-5. So that was the national blended, uh, excuse me, that was the American GFS future radar product. Now, courtesy of KGW TV, here comes their uh, weather model and their future cast. Scattered showers, six o'clock tonight. The heavier bright yellow colors would be the chance still of heavy showers. So despite the fact the showers are becoming increasingly scattered, so kind of drying overall, we're still seeing some heavier, the chance of heavier showers mixed in. So don't misunderstand what I'm saying. And then I think this is going to play. Yeah, here we are tomorrow morning, 8.16. It's pretty dry out there. There's a shower chance, but it's fairly dry. Here's 2 o'clock. Look, now here's the wave of that steady rain that's widespread from 2 to 5 o'clock. There's a secondary wave that comes in tomorrow evening. Here's the dry weather coming in on Sunday. I'll let this play one more time. This really is a great roadmap to the weekend. Scattered showers the rest of the day to tonight. Some spotty downpours. Really mainly dry in the morning with a few spotty showers. 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock, steady rain. There's a reinforcing shot of Saturday evening rain. There it is, moving out at 11 o'clock. And then mainly dry weather going into the day on Sunday. All right. Again, courtesy of KGWTV. Great animation there to help you plan your weekend. All right, 5 o'clock today. Here's the low. And then right here is the smaller secondary low. Both of these combined to produce the rain we had this morning. Now the deeper moisture fields are off to our east. And as I play this into tomorrow morning, again, this is identical to what I showed you and I talked to you yesterday. The upper level trough going into Saturday afternoon moves into Idaho and eastern Oregon and Washington where there will be scattered showers. Um, but we're pretty quiet until the next weather system. Right back in here, see where there's a little curl? This is where the warm front's coming in Saturday afternoon. And that brings that next shot of moisture in that goes into the evening hours. And then here's the ridge that gives us dry weather on Sunday and Sunday night. Here's Monday morning. If this is correct, it's dry when you wake up Monday morning. Here's a smaller weather system that will come in during the day. Could be raining by noon on Monday. I think this is probably a little spurt of numerous showers during from noon through the afternoon on Monday. Then the rain chance ends Monday night. Here comes a larger, stronger ridge, giving us dry weather on election Tuesday. Here it is on Wednesday. Look at these pressure heights, 579. That's a strong ridge of high pressure. It's going to keep us dry on Thursday as well. This is getting into Thursday morning with the next chance of rain setting up in the p.m. hours of Friday of next week from what you see back here. But again, I would say confidence is absolutely growing that we'll be all dry Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. The question is going to be, do we get morning fog? And if we do, is there enough of a temperature inversion that the fog doesn't clear out of the valley entirely? And of course, that would impact the sunshine and therefore the temperature forecast high uh, numbers that I come out with. Again, I'm talking next Tuesday, Wednesday into Thursday. There are signs that Thursday could have enough of an east wind that we're just sunny and we hit 60 after a chilly start. There could also be some freezing temps mixed in uh, some of that um, inversion, a high pressure pattern next Tuesday, especially Wednesday morning and Thursday morning, maybe some freezing temps in the valley. All right. So uh, here we are this afternoon. Let's just go around the horn. Showers developing during the day Saturday, even down in Southern Oregon. Any shower chance Sunday's early morning. This goes on to be a mostly sunny day. There's that weaker system on Monday. The rain might stay north of Medford, FYI. And that would leave all dry weather on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, sunny in 66. Really nice. Wow. Here's Bend. All right. Chance of rain tomorrow developing. Well, actually, remember that trough is out across eastern Oregon. So we'll go in uh, an ongoing scattered shower chance Saturday over in Bend. If anything, 
maybe an increasing rain in the evening into the overnight that goes into Sunday morning, but then Sunday drying during the day, that NIC system, chance of rain on Monday, but it might not be strong enough to go over the Cascades. And then we have the dry weather midweek. Okay. Up in Seattle, what we got? Saturday showers? Yes. Sunday, showers likely and then drying in the afternoon. Absolutely rain on that weaker system. It's coming in from the north on Monday with showers lingering into Tuesday. So that's Seattle. And then a couple of dry days on Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, I hope this plans. Yeah, plans. I hope this kind of helps you out. Newport, let's see your chance of showers. Saturday, uh, I even think along the coast, it's, it's mainly dry in the early morning hours and then the rain gets going in the afternoon or at least late morning. I mean, it could definitely be raining in Newport and the other Oregon coastline communities by noon on Saturday. I think Sunday is a good chance of being dry, though. Monday, that Nick system brings some rain, and then we go dry into the mid part of next week. Okay, here's my seven-day, courtesy of Hazel Del Tire Pros. Well, it's already warmer than 56 out there today. We're at 57, so we'll see how warm we go. Tomorrow, a scattered shower threat in the morning, but lots of dry time. Rain develops in the afternoon. Wettest part of the day for the I-5 corridor, again, setting up between about 2 and 6, with a secondary shot of rain in the evening. Sunday, mainly dry. Monday, after a dry start to the day, rain or showers develops going into the noon hour. And then I've got us all dry on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Notice Portland, 39 in the morning, 38 Thursday morning. These are the two mornings that there could be temperatures approaching 32 in some of the, the usual cold outlying areas of the valley and also up in the southwest Washington. Uh, all right. I hope you're enjoying my videos. Please tell your friends. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. That helps me out. It also sends you a notification if you allow it of when I post a new video. And if I don't talk to you Saturday, I'm sure I'll talk to you Sunday. Um, for now, I'm meteorologist Rod Hill. I'll talk to you soon.